We are alive this time, unless Mouse Sports decide to shoot each other in the back of the skull again. But I think not this time. And of course, Mouse Sports winning the first map will be looking to seal a 2 0 victory if they can pick up Nuke. Um, do we need more Gamma or are we good? I think we might. Maybe one more. There we go. A bit more gamma. Just for the laugh. And we are going to see a push from Mouse. No, we're not. Those grenades all going to lead to a fake from Mouse Sports. Question is, did Forza fall for it? No, they didn't. They're like, yeah, cool one, German guys. We're not falling for it. But Mouse Sports are, in the end of it all, going into this upper side anyway. We are going to see the bomb being planted here by Tixo. So, good start for Mouse so far. The question is, will they be able to hold off? When the Russians come for the retake. Needs up once again. Overdrive will get the first kill. Returned here onto Limbit by Gobby. Nades coming back in. Gobby here is just holding on, and they actually decide to open up just in time there. Those three players coming in. Manny's on the defuse right now, but of course dealt with quite expertly. Tixo and Blizzard will finish things off, and that is going to be pistol round mouse sports. 1-0. And, well, a great start here, of course, on terrorist side of Nuke. And we have been seeing some, uh, not particularly today, in fact, the CT side of Nuke in the other games uh, have been pretty much destructive. 14-1 uh, alternate CT side of Nuke today against CTS. B-Grip 12-3 against Power Gaming. Uh, but, you know, overall in tournaments, we've been seeing a lot more T uh, sides performing nicely. And, of course, Mass Sports here picking up Pistol. It should give them the next two as well. That will really, really give them a boost going forward in this match. Let's see if they're able to do anything. Wow, what a start here for Forza. Capio downed straight off the bat with the Deagle. Let's see if Forza can continue that. Would be great stuff if they're uh, able to pick up this second round after uh, losing Pistol, of course. But still a long way to go before we can call this round an upset. And Mouse playing slow. Slow Mouse. Ticks out probably first man to peek here. He does have a look through from the squeaky door. Gobby and Tixo will get the frags. Good from Tixo there. He was actually through the vent. Last man alive once again up on the top of ladder. He's killed Blizzard, but Gobby finally will deal with the threat. And Mouse Sports will reach two. A good early start to the terrorist half here from the Germans. And uh, if you're just wondering... How, uh, how these two teams qualified to get to this stage. Uh, Mouse Sports, of course, got the auto spot. They were, they're obviously the champions um, of the Intel Extreme Masters European Championship, so they went straight in. Uh, the Russians went through the qualifying rounds. Um, they beat four kings in qualification round two, and I think they had to play in QR1. I think they beat a Greek team, um, if I remember rightly. But right now, again, looking like an easy one for Mouse. Bomb is planted. And the two guys, three guys pushing through main will be dealt with. Dozier did get the frag. Dover gets one as well. And it's now all on overdrive. And we leave just that one man inside of Vents who... He's thinking, do I want to peek? Yes, I will peek, and Blizzard was still there. I guess he was hoping that uh, Mouse Sports had kind of vacated uh, that upper site and that he might have a chance at something. But his luck not quite there today, and that will be 3-0. So the uh, two rounds, two eco rounds after Pistol, over and done with. And now, of course, we will see the first weapon round of this second map. And this is an important round for Forza. Let's see how they deal. Deep defences by the looks of things. Going for, uh, you know, trying to avoid that early contact. Fox is down to 74 HP. Here comes the push. Fox has actually got himself into a good position there behind Capio. God B will double up though. That's possibly the more important frag in this round onto the upper side. And it's now three on two. Dober and Overdrive still remain. Are they going to go for this one? Dober waiting outside main. Overdrive was just over by ladder. 
And I think he's going to come and try and uh, go through that, yeah, through radio room and in through the hut. Not 100%. They're not going to go for this one, I think. Yeah, Doba's come all the way around the back, as you can see. They're just going to wait for these exit frags, try and do as much economical damage to mouse bots as they can after they win this fourth round. And it sounds like Doba could meet one. Yeah, it's Tixo who goes peeking the other way. Doba will make it two. Blizzard falls as well. And that will be 4 0 Mouse Sports. But a decent job by Forza at the end of that round. Just trying to, uh, you know, do as many kills or pick up as many kills as they can. Force Mouse Sports to buy again this round. And as you can see, money not great for Forza. There are a couple of Famasas there mixed in with these Colts. Now, and the next push from Mouse. A grenade coming out there onto the man. I'm not sure it was. God B, maybe. No, he wasn't God B. God B's over by the hut. Grenades down towards the back. Dover picks up the first frag onto Roman. And I guess it was Roman that was low. Or maybe not. Capio was on 1 HP as well. So, you now Mouse Sports really not looking healthy. That's a great shot from Capio, though. Showing that a little bit of health. Well, one health. Can be all you need to uh, get into position, but as you get there, Forza seem to have this one on lockdown, and uh, yeah, they lost too much health too early in the round, Mouse. And that will allow Forza, of course, to pick up their first round in his second map, and it's a much welcomed round. Mouse Sports get four rounds on T side; they're probably already fairly happy, but there's still so much of a, uh, a distance to go. Still 10 rounds, including this one. They could end up with a ginormous scoreline. Quick update. D-Train, DTS versus Alternate, currently 11-7 for DTS. Here's Dober and Fox with the kills. Roman did manage to sneak in behind, but of course, Mouse are on the eco. And it's an easy set of kills again for Forza. And the scoreline will be chipped away at once again by the Russians. 4-2. Uh, uh, Lions have already won their game. 16 rounds to 6. Their, uh, their final score in the second map. So uh, I can close that window off for now. Uh, Power Gaming versus B Grip. 11 4. What's the uh, self made there from Forza? It was Dozier that did that. Uh, Power Gaming, yeah. 11 4 in the lead from the first half of Inferno against B Grip. Obviously, they lost the first map, so important one for them. All right, now, Marsport spamming those outer walls, hoping for something in the early round. Of course, they have the man advantage after Dosia's suicide. If you look quickly down the stats there, Dosia not doing too well at the minute. One for five years. Dover topping the uh, scoreboard for Forza at eight for four. Gobby doing the same for Marsports with ten and two. Nice stats so far for Gob. Here comes a push from Mouse Sports. Flashes into the upper side. Squeaky door opens. Smokes are down as well. And here comes a push. And Blizzard's not seen Fox. He's tucked against the wall. Gobby's got to shoot people above him. Definitely not an easy task. Did get one of them, but was dealt with by Fox. And it leaves just two remaining. Roman and Tixo it was. Roman will be out aimed. Great individual performance from Fox there on that inner area. First of all, hugging the wall through smoke for his first kill. And then just pure aim for the last two. And the scoreline comes back even further. 4-3 mouse sports. And Forza. We've seen them do this uh, in the last map as well. Losing pistol, getting a lot of rounds coming out with a lead after the first half. They have to do that here, I feel, on CT side, especially against a team like Mouse Sports. But they just can't afford to uh, be losing pistols anymore. This ticks will spam up through the wall. More nades dropping down, but still no uh, real decision from Mouse. 12-10, DTS leading over alternate. Very close game there on train. And uh, right now it's alternate. We've got a 6-1 half-time score. Or a 6-1 score on T side of train at this point. 
Millennium are beating MTW 9 to 4 on Inferno. They're on terrorist side at the minute. Here comes a push maybe from Mousebots. Capio to get the first kill onto Overdrive. Here is the return from Forza. And nice little bit of positioning from Forza, but nicely dealt with as well quite quickly after that frag by Mouse. And now they're in onto this lower side, but there was Capio just uh, peeking down onto the ground to drop the smoke. Godby's gone down as well, and I think they've got this site on lockdown. Roman's got a two-on-one to pull off. And he's going to go very, very sneaky there. Takes a head off Dozier. Where is the last man? There is Dover. He's actually at the door. Question is, will Roman spot him? And he has spotted him there through that doorway. He's only got one second. Has to go for the kill. And the target will be saved. Not getting the plant down in time. Dover's still at 39.